Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to my match review on the Sunderland Sheffield Wednesday game. Where Sunderland have lost 3-1. And, I mean, they like, who didn't see this coming? I mean, they like, after the win against Derby on Friday, which was a fantastic win. I'm pretty sure, like, not, like 99% of the Sunderland fans expect us to lose yesterday. And we did just that. And it was meaning, it, and, like, it was, it was just like, it was just like one, one of those games where we could have easily won that game. And we just didn't take our chances and some just stuff went against us. And basically I think that's probably what cost us in the yesterday's game. I'm gonna just give my review, my opinions and yeah, I'm gonna start off with the lineups. I was one of them made one change to the turn up when because Derby obviously Corny um, I, I think Corny got injured, I don't I think I think Corny pulled up so like into Mark Wilson came in for him. And people come on the bench Magic not as I said, and as Sorrow and Azaria returned to the to the bench. Obviously, both of them came on quite late on. No idea why it took them so long to come on. I don't know why Jaria came on because Jaria's just well, Azaria's just a piece of crap. So for Wednesday, they are Wild Smith, Hunt, Fox, Bannon, Lees, Nuhiu, Zhao, Reach, Boyd, Pelupsi, or Pelupesi. I don't know how his name. Sorry about that. And Vinicio on the bench that had Dawson, Rhodes, Butterfield, Mateus, first Thierry, Tornley and Jones. And the game started now, it wasn't really like the most exciting first half ever. Obviously both teams had numerous chances. I think, I think some of that best performance probably done with love. I shot from about like 20 yards out or so. Maybe, maybe a bit more, like just off the ball and the goot hand of a good shot, which which, which went just past the post so for Wednesday. And I had a couple of good opportunities, but they didn't really... And put them any good, any good news, and the first half, you know, going at the half time nil nil, like it, it wasn't really the most interesting game ever to, uh, to be watching, and we 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 doing okay, and we were quite poor, I would say, and also but obviously Sheffield Wednesday weren't, as obviously Sheffield Wednesday weren't as good as us, well, I mean like as doesn't like that, and they weren't that much that much better, and there's some about a little bit of jumble of words there, and go second half, you know. First ten minutes, we come out. We really look like like this first ten minutes. We were really good. Like we really want to take the game Sheffield Wednesday. And you and you just like the kind of thing that's kind of against Darwin. You know, came out looking good, and then and then like obviously after 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 obviously after the first ten minutes, Sheffield Wednesday, and um, started to empty to empty control of the game once again. A few couple chances and eventually did take the lead in the fifty eighth minute, and it was Lucas Jam. Like, it was just a really. Really, it was really prevent my goal. We knew his cross came in from Barry Bannon. Oviedo and Nuhaya went up and for the header, and they both missed it. And Zhao, and they both felt the Zhao, and he smashed it past Camp. And Camp had no chance with that one. And there's one on Chef Wednesday, and you know, like, I, I, I probably think, well, how's that goal prevent those? Because, like, it's a cross. A goalkeeper should be able to come off for a cross and claim it, but then Camp just one of those keepers where he just sits on his line for a cross or a corner. I just don't get why. Like on Friday against Derby, if it's a cross, he came out for us. But in this game, we stopped on the line. I don't really get what was going on there. But then straight, but then, but then, but then straight away, like this is like like this most passing something so far. Like straight from the kickoff, um, good 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 at the ball. Like I mean, it was quite quite a good situation because like, there's two of them. There's two people on him, on the edge of the box. He managed to turn them both. The balls were doing, and it was ball the back post. I mean, I mean, I mean, like this was absolutely a f- tremendous ball from Linda Gooch. Phantom Swimming, who headed the pass well to me, I mean, I mean, like it was nothing special. And there's one more game on, you're thinking, could this be, could, like, could this be, like, and we, we, we could try and push on for, like, a second goal here, because, like, I mean, like, come back through it, we're like, it was like less than two minutes in, like, couldn't even get in the equalizer. I mean, there's a fantastic ball from Gooch, but, but obviously, they headed, head, there was nothing special. And it was like a really good bit of us, and you know, it was looking good. Everyone was em- em- the faces and the smiles that come back to our faces. First time I said the whole match because I don't, I don't really think there's many smiles uh, during the first half. And then obviously, and then, and then almost like nine, ten minutes later, we got we, and we got 2 1 down again. It's just another poor, poor ball here. And you know, but and I, and I think before like um I, I think I never cut all sm I I I think it's about like twenty five hours out so like has a shot smacks off the post, and then feel feel like a rebound, and then and then obviously Lyndon Gooch gets fouled in the box I means it's a storm or penalty like the referee has to give it 
but he doesn't give in. It's really frustrating. The fans is getting really annoying. And on that attack, if Wednesday go on the attack, I think it's it's per it's per per se. I also I still don't know how to get to say his name. So bad that big. But you know, like um, it's a, it's a free kick. I mean, like um, this free kick shouldn't even happen. Cause, like George Boyd, he like he like he was just looking for that. Like it was just like a really stupid thing. Like obviously con the referee, because obviously Luke Love had no contact with him whatsoever. P- purposely whipped it in, and Lee's head gets a first time header and head to pass Camp. And just it was, like, once again, it was it was, it was another like cross in. Once again, look, Camp just sit on his line, and it's just poor goalkeeping. Once again, Tom Lee's. Some player that that's one of them, and actually linked with a couple of years ago back when we were in the Premier League. Heads it in, obviously they're captain for Sheffield Wednesday, and it's just poor, 2-1 two, down. It's just, it's just not good enough. Um, you know, um, but like, um, while I'm here, I'm going to give credit to um, Sheffield Wednesday fans, because they were they were absolutely excellent. They, they were probably like um, some, some of the best, best, best set of supporters I've had. And it's, 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 it's the same right this season, obviously they're, they're sitting the heart out. Not too not so much the second half, but first half, they were absolutely fantastic off. Good credit to them, and then for, and then obviously, and then was, and then three one. I mean, I I don't I, I just, it's kind of kind of a weird one. It's kind of a weird one. I mean, I mean like um, Lucas Jow had a shot saved by Camp, and then um, Nahiu, I don't know where like I don't know what Camp was doing like he's he's too sort of like once he saved the ball from Jow, knew I don't know what I don't really even know Camp. I think he hit at the crossbar. And then headed it back in again, and Camp just didn't look bothered to get it. And for, go 3 1, I mean, I think before, like, um, we had another penalty, which was, I think it was, I think it, this time it was, it was Hungry Money's put down the box. Like I said, like, that, that referee was absolutely clueless. And, like, so, some of his decisions in, that, in, in this, this game really cost us. And I think, had some of the decisions gone our way, then we could have. And potentially got a point out of of the game, game of the game, maybe even f- like the full three points. Cause like Sheffield Wednesday would definitely take him. We didn't take our chances, and that cost us to, in that game. Cause Sheffield Wednesday they were they were nothing special. Like like really like um non teams that we've seen at the same like the season that like non of them have been fantastic. Like they've all been like just as bad as us. But like but but, but obviously and because of our mistakes that we make at the back and the goalkeeping errors, I mean. That's probably why like so like so many teams have come to see like they're taking away three points mostly, and it's just not it's just not good enough really. And I mean like obviously this press conference could come and criticize the referee, because because like let's let's say the let's let's say the referee had a shot. He really really did. It was not it wasn't good enough from him. And I'm 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 I'm, I'm having a look at the attendance and that attendance is um like, I just have my head. Like I, I think that, that 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 was our biggest attendance this season. Top of my head, it was twenty nine thousand six hundred eighty six. So just less than thirty thousand was there. And that and that top of my head, obviously, it it did feel like that there was a lot more people there. But yeah, I top of my head, it felt like that that was a lot more that it was like the like, biggest attendance I've had this season. And I mean, like, and the fans, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, then the, maybe the players tried. I mean, I mean, like, I I could credit the players, like, and then they did try today. Like, obviously, it wasn't fun percent trying, but you know, I had a bit of fighting them. We're just out class, really, and it's just not good enough. We've got six games left. We've we've got to win all six. I mean, one defeat. I mean, like I mean, like even now, even now, say we're down, but like I say, like one defeat, then then we're done. Definitely. I mean, like we've got Leeds next, which I mean, like you think, oh yeah, Leeds another team there, which which we never take them. I think there's no one else. We just don't think. I just don't think we'll perform for that one. Well, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, because that make it feel good, and you'll never miss an episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the